Hello, welcome to BTH. In this video I show you how to turn an old computer into a backup server. Here I have an old Dell laptop and I will turn it into a backup server. First of all I installed the operating system for it. Because it's an old computer, I use Linux. More specifically, I installed Ubuntu 20.04 on this computer. You go to the Ubuntu homepage and download the installer. After downloading you will get a new file with the extension ISO. To create an installer with this file you use a software called Rufus. In this case I used an 8 GB USB drive to create the bootable installer. You use software called Rufus to bring the Ubuntu installer onto a USB drive. Just select the USB drive, then browse to the downloaded file to create the Ubuntu installer. Rufus will erase the data on your USB drive. In a few minutes you will have a bootable Ubuntu installer. Next you plug it into the target computer and start installing the operating system. You access the target computer's BIOS and set the boot order. In the BIOS you set the computer to boot from the USB drive. Then save your changes and restart your computer. Start installing Ubuntu. You set the language and keyboard. The computer will be assigned an IP address from the DHCP server. As in my case it was given an IP address from the router. But I recommend you to set up a static IP address for this computer. With a static IP address you will easily connect from another computer. I set the static IP address for this computer to 192.168.1.50. Then format and partition the hard drive, I leave it as default. Next you are asked to name the server and create a new admin account. This admin account is used in the next step so don't forget it. To remotely access and install software you install OpenSSH server. After the settings like on the Ubuntu operating system will be installed on the hard drive. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete the installation. After completing the installation, you are asked to restart the computer. Now remove the USB drive and boot Ubuntu from the hard drive. Successful boot, you use the operating system login administrator account.
then you check the IP address of this computer using the command host name. The IP address does not change because it is the static IP address set up in the previous step. Before using the SSH command, use the ping command to check the connection between the two computers. SSH username at IP address. You use the admin account set up in the previous step to connect remotely. To turn an old computer into a backup server I use a software called UR Backup. You just need to use few commands as above to install UR Backup. Before you install UR Backup update your Ubuntu OS. You will be asked to enter the admin password during installation. You copy and paste the above five commands in turn to install UR Backup. Make sure the target computer is connected to the internet during the installation. You can customize the folder where the backup files are stored if you want. I leave it as default. Install UR Backup successfully. You enable the service UR Backup. Then check the UR backup service and make sure it's running. Again I use hostname command to check UR backup server's IP address. On a Windows computer, open any browser and enter the IP address of the UR backup server and port 55414. This is UR backup software management page, you can set backup schedule, manage clients, create account with it. In this section I will show you how to back up a Windows computer. You go to the UR Backup homepage and download the client software. This is the client UR Backup installer. You install it on the Windows computer you want to backup. After completing the installation, you can customize the backup for your Windows computer. Here I set the folder to backup manually and backup the entire Windows system. Next you add new folders you want to backup. I backup a folder named Data in the C. The 
client software automatically finds the backup server and performs the backup. UR Backup will backup specified folders. UR Backup will create an image of the client computer's Windows system. Depending on the size of your data, decide the backup completion time. On the UR Backup Management page, you will know the backup progress and backup results. This is the result of my Windows computer backup. UR Backup Backup Directory is specified. Also UR Backup creates an image of the Windows system. Do you want to know how to recover files or restore the system when something goes wrong? The next part I will introduce how to restore. I will delete the folder named data in the C partition on the client computer. I delete these files from the trash. Then on the UR Backup Manager page I restore the files. You are warned the restored files will overwrite the current files. Because I deleted the files so I don't worry about this problem. The recovery was successful, I have seen the files that I deleted in the previous step. Here's how to backup and restore specified folders. So how to recover when the Windows system crashes. I will introduce how to restore Windows system shortly. You go to the UR Backup homepage and download the system recovery tool. The downloaded file has the extension ISO. You prepare a USB drive of at least 2 GB in size. Then you use software called Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. These are the files on the USB drive and it will help you restore your Windows system in case something goes wrong. On a Windows computer I would make some changes as follows. I delete a file and remove some software. My Windows computer has had certain changes since I backed it up. Next I will restore it to the state it was in before the change. Please follow the steps below. You restart the Windows computer client and set the boot order.
files you set up the computer to boot from the recovery USB drive that was created in the previous step. Save changes and boot using the USB drive. Start UR Backup Restore. I recommend that you use the graphical interface when restoring. You can skip the language and time zone settings if you want. It will search for UR backup servers in your local network. It will take a while to find your server. The UR backup server was found, now you can start restoring. You select the client, then the system image version. If you backup multiple times for a client, there will be different versions. Then you select the destination hard drive. There are some advanced settings but I left the defaults and started restoring. The data will be overwritten so think carefully before restoring. Recovery time will be faster than backup time. After the restore is complete, restart the client computer. You go to the BIOS and make sure the computer boots from the hard drive. Now you remove the USB drive from the computer and boot from the hard drive. The computer boots to Windows, wait and see what the results will be. As you can see the Windows computer is back to the way it was when it was backed up. Uninstalled software has been restored. Deleted files have been recovered. One last setting I want to show you is how to optimize storage on UR backup server. You open a command prompt on Windows and connect to the UR backup server using SSH. This is my hard drive usage status. Although I use a 500 gigabytes drive, the maximum storage capacity is only 97 gigabytes. To optimize you use two commands above. You copy and paste the above two commands. In my case the storage changed from 97 gigabytes to 456 gigabytes. That way you can back up more data. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and help me 10,000 subscribe. By default you are backup does not have a login password so I recommend you to create a new one. Now when restoring the system you will be asked to enter the password. Good luck.